Hey everyone, welcome back to another diecast review. Today I am reviewing probably one of the coolest top fuel dragsters in my collection just because I was a fan of this driver and I do believe this was the only diecast produced for Hillary Will. So I've been looking for this car for quite some time and it's not the easiest car to find. It pops up every once in a while on eBay. There might be some there now. I'd put it, the comparison to difficulty to get, I'd put with the uh, Melanie Troxel Skull Gear uh, Top Fuel Dragster Diecast, that one isn't too easy and I haven't got that one yet, so, but first, let's go over the box. On this side up here we have NHRA official licensed product, got a picture of Hillary Will. We have Girl Power Racing, an image of the real KB Racing uh, Top Fuel Dragster. Down here we have Mac Tools, Racing Champions Authentics. It says 2006 KB Racing LLC NHRA Top Fuel Dragster. Side of the box is pretty much exactly the same. Everything that's on top of the box is on the side of the box. Maybe in different areas, but it's pretty much the same. End of the box features NHRA Racing Champions Authentics, Mac Tools, and once again the description of the diecast. This end of the box features Racing Champions Authentics 124 scale adult collectible NHRA and Girl Power Racing. This side of the box features Mac Tools and Girl Power Racing. And a brief description on Hillary Will's accomplishments in the NHRA. I'm going to actually take the time and read these. In 2003, she was the first and only female to drive three different race cars in the NHRA and finish in the top 10%. January 2004, she, she was in the Frank Colley School of Drag Racing. She graduated that program. June of 2004, she made her top uh, top alcohol dragster debut. January of 2005, she became the sixth female in NHRA history to qualify number one in top alcohol dragster. April of 2005, she won her first national event in just five starts at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. August of 2005, she won first divisional event at Mission Raceway Park in British Columbia. Also in August 2005, she was hired to drive the KB Racing Top Fuel Dragster. Later in August of 2005, she earned her NHRA Top Fuel Dragster license. November of 2005, she finished Top Alcohol Dragster, 6th in the world and 2nd in the Pacific Northwest Division after winning two races and reaching five finals. In February of 2006, she qualified number four in top fuel professional debut at the Winter Nationals in Pomona, California. And in March of 2006, she ran the career best 328 miles per hour at Firebird Raceway in Phoenix, Arizona. She, uh, I believe her last time in a top fuel dragster was for Dote Racing in 2012, where she was released after only driving half a year in that car and she has not raced since and probably will not return so this car is pretty collectible in my opinion being that she don't run anymore all right enough of the box let's talk what this car comes with comes with this hillary will girl power racing certificate of authenticity we got the kbr kb racing llc down here there is a thousand and two of this car produced. We've got Racing Champions Authentics. Short, quick little uh, brief description on Racing Champions Authentics. It was a division of the company RC2, which eventually got bought out by Auto World. If you're familiar with their top fuel dragster diecast, this diecast is pretty much exactly the current Auto World mold. So there is no difference really between this die cast and a current Auto World die cast. The certificate of authenticity says RC2 
Authentics top field dragster replicas feature highly detailed components which include customized interior and mock race used tires. Each collectible also features die cast bodies with accurate event paint schemes. RC2 collectibles are produced as a limited edition and come in their own custom package to ensure their collectability. I'm not sure how, lim how limited 1002 pieces are but let them say what they want to. It also comes with two of these exhaust pipe header tip covers. They go over the top of the uh, headers I will demonstrate on the die cast to basically the real teams have these in their pits so nothing falls down the headers because that's not good. Also it comes with two rear tire covers that say KB Racing on them. They just they're mesh with a slot on the back and they just slide over the rear covers or tires. You get two of those. And it also comes with this which is also got the KB Racing logo on it. it is a engine cover and it says Hill I believe it says Hillary Will right up here. So it comes with that. So now let's get to the die cast itself. First I will demonstrate the exhaust tip protector thing. It simply just goes on top. It won't stay on right now because I'm not going to put it on all the way but it goes right here to cover up the exhaust pipes and headers. So on to the die cast itself. Starting up here the top panel does come off and you can see the fuel cell right there and down there is the computer right down there so pretty nice detail you got the front tires with good gear on it it's got good steering from left to right got the front wing here with redline oil on the side I'll put the cover top of the car back on. Down here we got Coletta Air, Technicoat, and Summit Racing Equipment. Got KB Racing, Finley, and KB Racing on the driver protection uh, window. I guess that's what you want to call it. The paint scheme is a dark red into an orange with flames into a silver I got see her I believe to be an Oakley logo but it's kind of wore out for some reason right up there we got Hillary Will and Redline Oil back here on the driver pro titanium protection plates inside the driver's compartment you can see the steering wheel some of the te uh, technology uh, on the dashboard got the driver's seat in there with seat belt detail sponsors on the side we have JB Weld Racing Wheels Mac Tools uh, Bonafetti in Columbia on the side panel here we have Calco and Redline Oil they did a good job with the engine detail we got Autolite XP on the valve covers right there. We got the straps on both sides of the engine and the black blanket basically behind them to keep the supercharger up here on the engine during a ignition or engine failure. Really nice engine detail on this car. Back here you can see where the oil for the, or the nitro is. The nitro is in here and it spins around and goes into the motor from back there. Sponsors down here feature Ringer's Gloves, VP Race Fuel, Clevite, Impact Racing, Fram, Summit, Torco, and way in the back, I'll zoom out so it can focus I hope. We have, I believe to be Simpson, Comp Cam, MSD Ignition, and Lincoln Welders. 
We have Goodyear Eagle and Beadlock wheels on the rear tire. Up here we have the number 763 Technicoat, NHRA Powerade Drag Racing Series, Oakley, Budweiser. On the inside of the rear wing we have Safety Clean. It's on both sides. Up on the top of the wing we have Redline Oil and JB. Rear of the car on the inside of the wing features KB Racing, XRP, uh, Cell Pro, and Specialty Products. It's on both sides of the rear wing. So that's pretty cool. We got the parachutes on the back with the wheelie bar. You can tell it does have the distressed tires to look like it was uh, in burnouts. So that's pretty cool. There's the uh, detail on the dashboard once again of the driver's compartment. Here's the other side of the engine detail. So that's really nice. Sponsors are exactly the same on this side of the car as it is on the other. So there's not really any difference whatsoever on this die cast. Like I said, it's one of my favorite in my collection, so I had to get it. I didn't spend too much on it. But yeah, this has been Jason doing a diecast review of the 2006 Hillary Will KB Racing NHRA Top Fuel Dragster by Racing Champions Authentics and RC2. Be sure to like me on Facebook at JDR Diecast Reviews. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Jason A. Strain. I'm also on Snapchat at Dirt Driver 10. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button at the top of the page. If you hit the subscribe button, if I get 350 subscribers, and if you go over and like me on my Facebook page, I may have a giveaway over on my Facebook page for a diecast. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can possibly win a diecast whenever I hit 350 subscribers. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Take care, and goodbye.